this video is a follow-up video to a video I did about a week and a half ago where I offered an opportunity for you, the viewers, to submit your ideas and designs for the interior layout of my Stepman. I want to thank everyone for their submissions, sending in the layout and designs for my step van interior. There's just some fabulous thoughts, fabulous designs, and a lot of you didn't send layouts, but you sent me a lot of suggestions and ideas for storage, for different kinds of materials to use, flooring, things like that. Everything is greatly appreciated. You've given me a mountain of ideas to work with here. I'm going to go through seven of my favorite designs that were submitted and I'm going to be borrowing ideas from each to create sort of a hybrid design for what works for me. Because this is not a contest, I'm just going to be giving these designs in random order and talking about the things that I really like in each design, and I'll just be using first names. The first design is submitted by Michelle, and there's two things I really like about Michelle's design. First, she has benches near the back seat. That's one of the things that I'm interested in getting is a bench that sits opposite from each other in the back seat. And ideally, I'm going to put a table in the middle, which is not in her design, so I would be adding that. And then you have the two doors that open out to the back space. Also, I like that she has the small storage, like locker um, closets near the front cab area, and that she's drawn in the partition wall. Um, then she has a serving area on one side um, for serving the, the uh, tea. So those are some of the things that I really like about Michelle's design. I also like that she did it by hand and that it's just not to scale. So that's pretty cool. I like that it was just put together quickly to give me some great layout interior design ideas. Thank you, Michelle. The next design is by DB, and the title of his email was called Napkin Doodles, but these are nothing like napkin doodles. What he sent over was a full 3D rendering with SketchUp program, at least it looks like this. I'm envious of your skills, even as uh, textures on the walls, on the floors, and just really, really great job. So there's several things I like about this. I like the little closet storage spaces near the rear doors. I'm going to incorporate that along with the bench design from the previous uh, submission. I like that you put the wood stove over the wheel wells. I think that's an ideal place. The other thing that was in this design, and several of them, is a Murphy bed. I've been thinking about the Murphy bed for the last week and a half, and I've decided not to go with a Murphy bed at all in the design. And the reason is I want that wall space that the Murphy bed, the Murphy bed occupies to be available for bookshelves. So I've decided not to have a Murphy bed and go with a slat bed that extends out um, so that I still have the wall space or with a tabletop that collapses into the center of two bench seats to form a bed that way. So anyway, no Murphy bed. Um, so if you think about that in this place, that's very close to what I want to do. Thank you, DB, for this design. The next design is submitted by JB, not to be confused with DB. JB also has this amazing 3D rendering. You guys have just put so much work into this. All the textures are there, the cabinets, the little pulls on the doors. Um, it's just phenomenal. I can't believe the amount of effort you guys put in. I love the uh, little storage type units near the front area and that the two couches face each other. Um, I think I'm going to put those two bench type couches near the rear doors, uh, similar to the little tables that you have set up, but facing each other. So that's going to be a little bit different. And probably we'll just do kitchen on one side. So, but I love the amount of work that was put into this, and I love the storage units being across from each other near the front driver's cab. Thank you, JB, for your submission and the amazing amount of CAD work that was done here. The next submission is by Jim. Jim actually sent in a sketch, a hand-drawn sketch with a pen on a pad of paper, which is totally awesome. This is what I love to see, and it's not at all to scale, um, but it's actually probably the closest in design to probably what I want to ultimately do, 
and here's why. On one side near the front in the driver's side he has all of the kitchen stuff set up. The fridge, the stove, the sink, all of that. And then next to that he has some uh, cubes. I don't know that the cubes are going to work because right there is where the wheel wells are, but I love the ideas of cubes and I want to work that in somehow. The cubes are like little stools that can be moved out into the center space to provide more seating and be flexible to move around. So I will be incorporating cubes and I appreciate that idea. Um, he also uses a Murphy bed, which I've decided not to go with, but if you picture a slat type bed, um, across from the kitchen area. I think that's probably what I'm going to go with. And then in the back, I'm going to have the bench seats that face across from each other like the first uh, submission that I had. Good job here, Jim. Uh, appreciate you thinking this through and sending me the hand-drawn sketch. Nice work. The next submission was sent by Reese, and this is just incredible. The guy sent a CAD video, so you can see sort of a fly-through video, and he goes through and explains it um, just step by step. Um, I'm going to let you watch the video and then give you some comments on it. Hiya. Um, I've quickly done this for you, see what you think. Um, so the, um, the driver's compartment will be through there. Um, there's two sets of um, storage units, wardrobes, um, hanging stuff in there and in there. Uh, they all open from this side through here. And um, down below there is some shelving for storage. That's on both sides there. Um, these are uh, cubes seating cubes so you can either sit on them like that with your back resting against there uh, or they can actually come out for extra seating in that area for um, whatever seating you've got planned um, when hosting your little tea um, things. So Reese is very close in his design to what Jim did and going through and he put the little storage shelves near the front entry area with the kitchen on one side and then opposite the kitchen he has the cube seating which again I really like the cube idea I'll end up using that but I think I'll probably put a slat bed opposite that uh, he has the little cub wood stove uh, in there on the wheel well that I like I think I'm going to flip it and put it on the opposite side and raise it up so it's the height of the kitchen countertop so that I can use it as a cooking surface if I want. Um, so I think I'll go with that and then he didn't finish the back end space but I'm planning on putting uh, benches that sit across from each other as I've mentioned before. Good job on your video, quite amazing, really really well done. The next design was done by Matthew and he's also submitted a similar design to previous designs and he has the kitchen area on the driver's side near the front Murphy bed on the opposite side again not going with the Murphy but if you put in a slat bed in that location I think that's exactly what I want. Um, he puts the word wood burning stove in the back corner. I don't think that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it over the wee well and near the kitchen F where he has his bench listed there. So if you put the bench uh, near the back doors and I think this is pretty close to what I'll ultimately end up doing. Thank you Matthew for your design submission. The last design is submitted by Lou. Lou, you did a phenomenal job. Again, a 3D CAD drawing here. It's really incredible. And this is very, very close to what I want to do. Um, just flip-flopping the direction of things. Um, the back doors, um, I'm going to have the benches facing across from each other. But near the front, I want to have the kitchen area and the wood stove next to the kitchen area. And then instead of the Murphy bed like you did in yours, I, of course I mentioned I want the slap bed so that I can have uh, the extra space there for my bookshelves. I do see you have some bookshelves built in there, but I really want bookshelves to be going up from the back of the seat, uh, like shoulder height on up uh, as a permanent fixture there. Um, Anyway, this is really close to what I want to do. It has the storage uh, on both sides next to the doors. Uh, great design, Lou. This is just, you guys make me envious with your design skills. I hope that someday I can use 3D CAD software to be able to do designs this great. 
thank you all for your submissions. I'm going to be doing another video with the design that I come up with that's going to be taking all seven of these designs and sort of combining them together into a layout that is really borrowing from all of the work that you guys have done. Thank you again for your submissions, all your great and fabulous design ideas. And those of you that I didn't show, you, sit, you submitted a lot of designs, a lot of material, um, a lot of your ideas on flooring, um, paneling, um, different kinds of components. It's extremely valuable to me and I'm considering and researching all of those. Thank you so much for your designs. I hope you enjoy this video. That's all I have. Save in the moment. See you next episode.